welcome to the audience to our Immunology Pills mini webinar series. And yeah, I will start right away sharing my slides with you. Yes, yeah, so um, I will start off with a short introduction into our company and our mission. Um, and then I will dive into the immunology and immuno-oncology to just um, yeah, take a look at the definition and what is meant by these topics. And then we will um, continue or I will continue um, telling you about our resources, um, our websites and tools and um, what we offer in terms, terms of immuno-oncology solutions for you. So our mission here at Milton, at Milton Biotech is to advance scientific research and medicine by providing solutions for curative and gene therapy as well as biomedical research. Stefan Miltony, who is still the owner of the company, developed the MAX technology, which is a column-based magnetic cell isolation technique, already in the 80s as part of his diploma thesis. In 1919, this innovative technology was patented and already 28 years ago, um, in 1994, we started to develop our clinical portfolio and by now about 600 patients are treated each year with cell isolation um, products um, yeah, with our trusted and well-established MAX technology. So what started as a, a one-man's diploma thesis has since then grown to a global company with more than 3,500 employees worldwide and with almost a quarter of all the employees that are working in R&D, engineering and clinical development. And our MAX technology is cited more than 46,000 times in publications. So let's take a closer look at our MAX technology. So why is this technology superior to other, techn to other isolation approaches? So independent of the approach you decide for, the basis is always MAX technology. Um, but why is it so beneficial to use MAX technology for your cell isolation experiments? Our technology is based on the column, on the MAX column. And um, through these columns, the magnetic field is amplified by 10,000 fold. And this allows us to reduce the number of beads for the enrichment. And this leads then to, of course, a minimal labeling of the cells. And counter the pre-justice, there is a large space between the steel spheres um, of the column matrix. And this enables a free flow through of non-labeled cells and enrichment of minimal labeled cells without any unspecific cell activation. So if you um, have a look at the electron microscopy images um, on the right hand side of the slides, comparing um, a column free system and um, our system, you clearly see that the bead aggregates on the cell surface if you use a column-free system, whereas cells isolated with our MAX technology look very natural. And um, therefore, our MAX technology is also used already in clinical cell therapy trials worldwide. So yeah, so I just told you, Milton, he started with um, the cell isolation, cell separation products. But um, since then, we expanded our portfolio and we expanded continuously day by day. And beside our columns and microbeads, we offer also several devices, <clears throat> reagents, consumables for technologies like um, sample preparation, cell isolation, cell culture, um, cell analysis, as well as imaging. And we also... Um, offer um, different products for the clinical manufacturing of different cell types. Yeah, the specialty of Milton D. Biotech is the combination of pioneering product solutions in so-called pioneering solutions in so-called integrated workflows. And that means that we do not only offer devices, reagents and consumables, but also R&D expertise and support through the whole workflow. And all our products are tested and used in our in-house R&D within special application. And this is what makes us really unique. Now you know a bit more about Miltony and let's have a look at the very basics. So what is immunolo immunology? 
Um, yeah, since the Corona pandemic, the term immunology is now is known basically by everyone. And per definition, immuno oncology immuno immunology is a study of the immune system and is a very important branch of the medical and biological science. The immune system protects us from infections through various lines of defense. And if the immune system is not functioning as it should, it can result in disease such as autoimmunity, allergy, and cancer. This was a site by the um, British Society of Immunology. So as a take home message, um, as already our happy cells um, told us, to boost your immune system, um, we strongly recommend to love at least 20 minutes a day. As most of you know, the immune system is a complex system of molecular and cellular components, structures and processes that has evolved to protect us from disease. The function of these components is divided up into non-specific mechanisms, those which um, are innate to an organism and responsive responses, which are adaptive to specific pathogens. A fundamental or classical immunology involves studying the components that make up the innate as well as the adaptive immune system. The innate immunity is the first line of defense and is non-specific, that is um, the response are the same for all potential pathogens, no matter how different they may be. Innate immunity includes physical barriers such as our skin or salvia and cells, for example, macrophages, neutrophils, basophils, and mast cells. These components are ready to go, so to say, and protect an organism of the first few days of infection. But in some cases, this is not enough to clear up the pathogen, but in other instances, the first defense becomes overwhelmed and a second line of defense kicks in, and this is named the adaptive immunity. This is a second line of defense, which involves building up a memory of encountered infections, though can amount an enhanced, um, enhanced response specific to the pathogen or foreign structures. The adaptive immunity involves antibodies, which are generally um, target foreign pathogens and roaming free in the bloodstream. And um, it also involves, of course, T cells, which are directed specifically towards pathogens that are colonized cells and can directly kill infected cells or help um, yeah, control the antibody response. The cells of interest uh, of the innate as well as of the adaptive immune system play a major role in the development and progression of various cancer. They are able to kill tumor cells, but can also promote the tumor growth. Um, just get my pointer. So basically, we can divide them into effector cells and suppressor cells. For the effectors, for example, NK cells, macrophages, and T cells, they are able to kill the tumor cells. On the other hand, suppressors like MDOCs or T-Rex, they, they can support the tumor growth. And our suppressors, they also have the ability to downregulate the effector cells. So, um, yeah, and what, what does uh, the immuno-oncology then do? These are the entry points. So they want to increase the anti-tumor response or decrease, downregulate the effector cells, uh, the, um, sorry, the suppressor cells. Um, yeah, make use of the body's natural immune, resist, immune system to fight cancer ends up in a so-called immunotherapy. And in the past and present, smart, re smart researchers all over the place worked hard to develop and optimize such drugs, drugs to treat cancer patients. For more comprehensive information, I would like to draw your attention to our MAX handbook. So our MAX handbook is a comprehensive source about Milton Biotech technologies, so from sample preparation and cell isolation through cell culture and flow cytometry, including um, flow sorting. 
Um, and it also provides a wealth of knowledge and background information about the different human and mouse cell types and tissues. So the Max Handbook is designed to help you to find the appropriate solution um, for your needs to plan your experiments accordingly. And yeah, the website is linked here in the presentation. So yeah, so there are different approaches, uh, the different different um, uh, angles from where you can approach your workflow. On the one hand, from technology side. So for example, if you are if you find yourself at a cell culture experiment or at a flow experiment, you can also approach your workflow by um, cell types. For example, if you're working with T cells or with B cells or in K cells. Or you can also take a look at um, different research areas like immuno-oncology or um, genomics. And um, if you browse through our technology, you will find products um, for your workflow step and application of interest. So for example, we have solutions for sample preparation, for cell separation, cell culture, cell analysis, imaging, antibodies for flow and imaging, as well as isolation and analysis kits for molecular analysis, and of course, our broad um, clinical portfolio. In total, we offer more than um, 17,000 products. Another um, option is that you can take a look or approach your workflow. Um, you can take a look at the dedicated portfolios for our for your favorite cell types. So for example, you can take a look at our NK cell portfolio, T cell portfolio or B cell portfolio, as well as um, we have dedicated solutions for tumor cells or also neural cells and other cell types. Another option is that you approach your workflow through different research areas. So for example, immunology, oncology, immuno-oncology, drug discovery and development or clinical applications. And today we will take a closer look at the um, immuno-oncology workflows. So this here depicted here on this page, this is our um, yeah, our immuno-oncology page where we um, where we listed or we selected some hot immuno-oncology topics such as CAR T cells, therapeutic antibodies, TILs, as well as antigen-specific T cells. And we compiled our solutions in so-called, I mentioned it at the beginning, integrated workflows to make your research life easier. But how do we do that? So let's take a look, a closer look at it by um, one example. So I've chosen the antigen specific uh, T cells as an example. So first of all, we identify the key challenges for the workflow. So for in this example, for the antigen specific T cell workflow, um, we said, okay, insufficient starting material is a, a key challenge. There's low frequencies of the antigen specific T cells, a high background, insufficient stimulation, and a slow translation into the clinic. And based on these key challenges, we, um, Find, we want to find solutions um, how to overcome them. And uh, for example, if you have insufficient starting material, we said, okay, we need a super efficient sample preparation and so on. And then we go through all our technologies and products and see how, what can we select and how can we compile our products in such integrated workflows. And um, basically for the um, antigen specific T cell workflow, here you can see a schematic overview of our products for the antigen specific T cell workflow. And as you can see, we offer products for the whole workflow from sample preparation to cell stimulation to cell separation and analysis. Um, if you want to have a closer look at the uh, respective application, uh, please visit our websites and we also offer a lot of uh, have a lot of brochures where this is compiled. Besides the featured topic, besides the featured uh, topics, uh, we also have on our website activities and resources for immuno-oncology. So for example, Congress and Symposia, our Immuno-Oncology Innovation Award, Protocols and Scientific Postal Library, our Max Immuno-Oncology Days, as well as the Milton University. 
So, um, um, so this is one example of a booth. Um, so you can meet us at different immuno immunology and immuno-oncology um, congresses and symposia, for example, the ACR, the AI, the SIMD, EMBT, and so on. And there are many more where we are present. Um, so yeah. If you ever have, if you ever um, visited one of our booths, you know that they are very colorful. And please always feel free to step by, and we are always happy to discuss our um, your workflow with with you, and um, you can learn about our latest technologies and products with our experts. So what else can you find on, the, find on this website? We also compiled a library of protocols and scientific posters. So for example, there are step-by-step -step protocols with all the reagents and how you, um, you can do it. Um, you can download them for free and um, directly go to the lab and uh, start your experiment. We also have application notes and scientific posters from our um, in-house R&D researchers that were presented on different um, I.O. meetings. And of course, so I think most of you uh, know our uh, Milton University training courses. Um, whether you work in industry, academia or a clinic, we offer a wealth of courses um, to help you to advance your skills. Um, because we know great scientists never stop learning. You can find their live webinars, on-demand webinars, educational videos, cooking shows, um, hands-on training courses. Um, yeah, and this is all separated by, or can be filtered by cell types, by technologies, or by specific applications. So here you really decide how and what you want to learn. And yeah, with this, I am um, um, at the end of my presentation. So we are always happy um, if you follow us on one of these social media channels, for example, LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, or ResearchGate, um, to don't that you do not miss any of our activities, actions like the travel award or like the webinars or whatever you are interested in to stay in contact with us. And of course, um, for deeper and more extensive information for demos, or if you would like to discuss your workflow with one of our technical sales consultancies, please um, contact our local, local so your local uh, sales organization um, and visit our website, miltonybiotech.com. So I thank you for your attention. <laughs>